Hello guys, Dr. Hasbullah here and in this video, we will continue with our second example. In the previous example, we have done the converging nozzle but in this example, we're going to take a look at converging and diverging nozzle. So essentially what we have here is the converging and diverging nozzle that looks something like this and I think we've done some study on this similar type of nozzle in our notes here. Okay, this is the notes. Okay, and it's basically a similar thing. Right, and the area at the exit is 0.004 meter square, and the area at the throat is 0.001 meter square. And obviously, the flow goes from left to right. And in this reservoir, the temperature in the reservoir is 20 degrees Celsius, and the pressure is 500 kilopascal. And the question asks for a, the two pressures that results in Mach number equal to 1 at the throat. And the second question is to find the temperature and velocity at exit. To do this, I'm going to recap a bit about what we have learned before, right? And if you see here, this is our nodes and our converging and diverging nozzles. Okay, And we know that at the throat, okay, there is two conditions where the Mach number can be 1. The first condition is by following this line. Let me use orange, okay? The first condition is following this line. Okay, and the pressure goes back up. Okay, and the second condition, let me use red this time, is using this line and it goes down. Okay, so there are two ways to get the Mach number equal to one, and we're gonna and we're gonna study both, right? So let's get back to our equation. Let's find the exit pressure that result in Mach number equal to one at the throat. And to do this, I'm gonna completely use the table okay first of all what is the information that we have in order for us to use the table i think obviously what we have now is the area ratio so a over a star a exit over a star which is a at the throat is 0 0.004 divided by 0 0.001 which is 4 let's look in the table what happens when a over a star equal to 4 Okay, and we are looking for A over A star equal to 4. Okay, and we know that because the question asks for two exit pressure. So, we know that in this table, we should have two conditions where A over A star is 4. Okay, first, I think it's here. Okay, it stays between this. That's your pressure and that's the mark number. And another area ratio which has 4 is here if you look at the mark number here okay at point two this is called point two okay and this is called point one okay you can tell that point one is actually represented by this line okay because the Mach number is small, right? Meaning that the flow doesn't go supersonic. It goes to one at the throat and then it slows down again because there's not enough pressure difference. Okay. But for point two, you can see that the Mach number is very high. This is supersonic flow, close to three. And what happens here is this line. Okay, this line. This is where the flow goes to mark number equal to 1 at the throat and mark number will continue to increase, right? So that's the difference between the two conditions. And remember, our objective is to find the pressure at exit for these two conditions. So let's take a look at our table again. And now we're going to be looking at P over P naught. So I'm going to copy this. And I'm going to put it here. 
this is point 1 and I will also copy another point which is point 2 and I'm going to put it here for point 1 we know that this is not exactly 4 okay so we know that we have to interpolate so p over p naught let's say that this is x okay so x minus 0 0.9864 divided by 0 0.9823 minus 0 0.9864 which is equal to our area ratio is 4 minus 4.1824 Divide by 3.6727 minus 4.1824. Okay, so our x is also p over p naught, which is equal to 4 minus 4.1824 divided by 3.6727 minus 4.1824 times 0 0.9823 minus 0 0.9864 plus 0 0.9864. This is 0 0.9 eight four nine okay and four point two let's do x minus zero point zero two nine eight zero over zero point zero two eight nine one minus zero point zero two eight nine zero equal to four minus 3.999 over 4.076 minus 3.999 so p over p o this is equal to x is equal to 4.076 okay we may made a mistake here so this is 2 9, 8, 0. Okay, let me calculate that again. So that's 0 0.02979. Okay, now when you have this ratio, this is quite easily for point number 1. The exit pressure that you are looking for is 0 0.9849 times what is our pressure inside the reservoir that is 500 kilopascal so this becomes 500 times 0 0.9849 this is 492.45 kilopascal okay and point number two p is equal to 0 0.02979 times 500 0 14.895 kilopascal right and this gives you solution for question a okay so for question a you need the two pressure so so these are the pressure and that when you apply this pressure at the receiver you will have mark number equal to one at the throat okay so question b Let's find the temperature and velocity at exit, okay? And the procedure is very similar. You need to find the temperature ratio inside the table, okay? And then you can get the temperature at exit for both point 0.1 and point 0.2. So what I'll do is that I'm just going to copy everything. And put it down here to find the temperature. Temperature is the third row. Okay, so for point one, that is, let's do x equal to t over t naught. Okay, so x minus 0 0.9961 over 0 0.9949 minus 0 0.9961 equal to, remember our area ratio is still 4 minus 4.1824 over 3.6727 minus 4.1824 and you will end up with t over t naught this is equal to x which is equal to 
zero point nine nine five seven. Okay, so basically the temperature at exit is zero point nine nine five seven times what is our T naught? T naught is twenty degree Celsius. So this is twenty degree plus two seven three. This is equal to 0 0.9957 times 20 plus 273. This is 291.74 Kelvin. 4.2, still x equal to t over t naught. So x minus 0.2, this is it, minus 0 0.3665 over 0 0.3. 633 minus 0 0.3665 equal to 4 minus 4.1824 over 3.6727 minus 4.1824 and you will end up with t over t naught for point 0.2 equal to 0 0.3665 so what you have is T and exit equal to 0 0.3665 times 20 plus 273 and this is equal to 107.38 Kelvin. So that's your point two temperature and exit. And I think the question is also looking for not only temperature, which you already have now, but also velocity. And I think when you mention velocity, you definitely need to know the Mach number. Okay, so Mach number. Okay, is here. This is the Mach number. So this time, please try and interpolate it yourself and to find the Mach number. And from what I did, okay is that at point 1, my mark number is <coughs> 0 0.147 and at point 2, my mark number is 2.94. Make sure you manage to find this value by interpolating the table yourself. Okay, And how do we find velocity? Right, right now, you should already be familiar that velocity is equal to Mach number times speed of sound and for point 0.1, let's do point 0.1, okay? So velocity is Mach number is 0 0.147 and C is actually square root of KRT, right? So K is 1.4, R is 287 and temperature at 1 is here, 291.74 291.74 and you will end up with 50.3 meter per second right and at point 2 we're going to use v equal to mark number is 2.94 square root of 1.4 times 287 times what is my temperature at point 2 is 107.38 and for this you will end up with velocity equal to 611 meter per second so I think this makes sense to you guys right because when mark number at 1 okay is 0 0.147 so velocity is only about 50.3 meter per second but when mark number is 2.94 velocity should be higher which is now 611 okay now the rough values of mark number equal to 1 usually the velocity is about 300 meter per second so i think that makes sense right and looking back at the question so i think we already found the two pressures we already found the temperature and we also found the velocity i hope that from this example so this tutorials and the previous tutorials that now you know to use two things First is to use all the equations that you've derived before and the second one is to use the 
compressible flow or isentropic flow table. Please do this tutorial and example again and again until you don't have to watch the video in order to solve it. So guys, continue to work hard and I'll see you soon. Bye.